Captured on home surveillance video, a group of teens the sheriff believes to be from Louisville and armed with guns. They spent more than an hour wreaking havoc in several Nelson County neighborhoods, including Spring Hill and Maywood, not far from the center of Bardstown. That was early Thursday morning. They come in packs. Their intent is to steal, and they're going to do whatever it takes to steal. Sheriff Raymond Penaroa is fed up with an uptick in crime involving teens. In one case, it led to a high-speed chase. Oh, my God, he just ran. That was earlier this week in New Haven. The sheriff says a teen was behind the wheel of a car stolen out of Louisville. Two were taken into custody. But as many as six teens involved in Thursday's early morning crime spree have not been caught. They were in a Kia and a Hyundai believed to be stolen when they pulled up to this Caldwell Avenue home in the city limits. In this video, one of those kids finds a Kia that's unlocked and inside the console, he finds a spare set of keys to the other car in the driveway, a 2014 Ford Mustang. And here on Caldwell Avenue, it wasn't just that Mustang that was taken. Three guns were also stolen. And according to police, every single victim admitted they had left their cars unlocked. That's why the sheriff why? reminding residents to lock up their car. Because they, they don't, sons, there's no sons out there. I, look, even when I, my old neighborhood, before I moved this one, there were no sons there either. But I still lock my door because you just never know. But here's the thing. You're coming from Blackstead. These people probably lived here all their life. There's no sons around. There's no, listen, I, not to, I hate to say this. If there's no sons around, there's really no need to lock your door. You don't have to. <laughs> just, I mean, it just is what it is, man. Um, you just don't have to lock your door if there's no sons around. Left their cars unlocked. That's why the sheriff's reminding residents to lock up their cars. Ahead of spring break, both he and city police will be stepping up patrols. And he says his message is clear. Don't come here. We're not the place to fool with. In Nelson County, Lauren Adams, WLKY. Well, they just fooled with you, Sheriff. <laughs> so, like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um... A mess of glass, bricks, and twisted metal littered the street outside of the Courtyard Marriott in downtown Louisville Thursday. Police say two teens led them on a chase before crashing the stolen car into the side of the building. By mid-morning, it wasn't the upcoming South Regional basketball games across the street garnering the attention. It was the gray Kia. It's odd that it happened right in front of the Yum Center this morning. March Madness indeed. The noise was so loud when the Kia barreled into the bricks of the Marriott at 2nd and Main Streets, it woke up guests a few floors above. It sounded like... Like a trash truck would like set down a big, you know, the big trash, just like really loud, like dropped it almost like metal and glass all together. Now, just moments before that crash, Clarksville police say one of their officers noticed a driver going about 90 miles an hour. And when he tried to initiate a traffic stop, well, the driver kept coming right across this bridge. And because of the high rate of speed, when he tried turning onto Main Street, that young driver lost control. Police say the car was stolen from the driveway of a Jeffersonville home only a short time before. The homeowner didn't even realize it until police knocked on his door around 2 Thursday morning. When he showed up downtown to get pictures for insurance purposes, he was shocked. Like I worked hard to get it. Now it's in the side of the building. Still, Robert McClellan. <laughs> Why he looks so happy? Gladder, man. Gladder's a different man. He just probably happy like, oh shit! This is this is a guy, this is a guy, um, uh, um, uh, um, porn bomber in the back. We got a porn bomber in the back, man. Oh shit! A fucking porn bomber, man. Right there, porn. We got a porn bomber. Um, yeah. Um, go away, porn bomber. Fuck off. Um, yeah, this guy, this guy, I mean, he's probably just like happy, like he's not dead. He was asleep when they stole his car, maybe. Downtown to get pictures for insurance purposes, he was shocked. Like I worked hard to get it. Now 
ambulance in the side of the building. Still, Robert McClellan had this message for the two teens who were taken to the hospital, but expected to be okay. I really hope the kids that did it are all right, honestly. You know, um, I hope it's a life lesson. Get fucked. Oh my God. He hopes the kids that did it all right. I hope next time they <laughs> do it. Jesus Christ. Does he know what these kids would have done to him? Had he come out while they were still in it? So let's just say while they're still in the car, he cracks his front door in his robe and says, hey, the first thing one of those kids going to do is just point a gun at him and shoot. I promise you, point the gun at him and shoot. He sees them as poor little kids that need help. They don't even see him, see him as human. <laughs> he's, he, he, wow. Empathy is a bitch. Yeah, having it, yeah, having it is a weakness. And, and now here's the thing. If it was just y'all together in a homogeneous society, this shit would make sense. Like leaving your doors unlocked. But you guys have other vices. Like y'all have other vices that would plague y'all, but these things wouldn't plague y'all. You dig what I'm saying? I think he's a CEO looking at the flag on his head. He might be. Maybe that's why he's so empathetic. I don't know why. I really hope the kids that did it are, are all right, honestly. You know, um, I hope it's a life lesson. And. It just it sucks. Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Damn, man, what a what? Well, at least at least um, he he got away with his life because he was asleep. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the Sun teams, they didn't mark him for no reason. Yeah, exactly. Man. Um, 